Ahoy hoy, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to talk about how best to contain SCP-682. Uh, so, I was doing a little bit of research, I know, shocking. Um, and did you know that steel is especially vulnerable to hydrochloric acid, and you can build steel alloys that are acid resistant, but Hydrochloric acid is one of the few acids that it's almost impossible to protect against fully. Let's talk about that and more. When I read you the containment procedures for SCP-682, you will probably understand why I am uh, bringing up acid. Resistant steel. Item number. SCP-682. Object class Keter. Special containment procedures. SCP-682 must be destroyed as soon as possible. Well, that's not a containment procedure. At this time, no means available to SCP teams are capable of destroying SCP-682, only able to cause massive physical damage. Boy, howdy, is that an awkwardly phrased sentence. Jesus, this is... Second sentence ends, and I'm like... Second sentence ends, and I'm like, oh, this is poorly written. <laughs> but we're not here to critique the writing. A little bit, because the writing is part of the containment procedures and we have to fix them. SCP-682 should be contained within a 5 meter by 5 meter by 5 meter chamber with 25 centimeter reinforced acid-resistant steel plate lining all inside surfaces. Hydrochloric acid. The containment chamber should be filled with hydrochloric acid until SCP-682 is submerged and incapacitated. The steel chamber is to be filled with hydrochloric acid which is especially effective at corroding steel cool but they, but they put acid resistant in there so it must be uh yeah anyway any attempts of scp-682 to move speak or breach containment should be reacted to quickly and with full force as called for by the circumstances what does that mean Personnel are forbidden to... See, the other ones, I was just like, I read them and I give them a pass. This one's a little bit... Because it's so absolutist. We're going to kill it. We're going to keep it contained at all costs. Personnel are forbidden to speak to SCP-682 for fear of provoking a rage state. All unauthorized personnel attempting to communicate to SCP-682 will be restrained and removed by force. Due to its frequent attempts at containment breach... Is probably should have been plural or ing breaching containment anyway difficulty of containment and incapacitation and high threat of foundation exposure i think what you mean is to the public but you didn't say it scb682 is to be contained in site redacted the foundation will use the best of its resources not the not all of its resources just the best of its resources to maintain all land within 50 kilometers clear of human development. Wow, that is... Man, I feel dumber for having read that. <laughs> what? You know, there's only one paragraph? Yeah, okay. I mean, well, th there's multiple paragraphs here, but I'm saying there's only one paragraph that actually physically describes, like, the problems we're going to run into here. SCP-682 has always been observed to have extremely high speed, strength, and reflexes, though exact levels vary with its form. SCP-682's physical body grows and changes very quickly, growing or decreasing in size as it consumes or sheds material. SCP-682 gains energy from anything it ingests, organic or inorganic. Digestion seems to be aided by a set of filtering gills inside of SCP-682's nostrils, which are to remove which are able to remove usable matter from any liquid solution, enabling it to constantly regenerate from the acid it is contained in. SCP-682's regenerative capabilities and resilience are staggering, and SCP-682 has been seen moving and speaking with its body 87% destroyed or rotted. Okay, so we can start taking a look at the uh, things it can do and can't do here. That's the full measure in the SCP article itself. Yeah. That's the full measure in the SCP article itself of what it can do. Everything else, 
yeah, everything else is from external documents, other tales that are not necessarily canon to this article. So we can only use what's in the article. If you have a tale that you've read where he is Superman and can fly, that doesn't apply here. We can only work with what's in the article. So this SCP, as described here, how do you contain it? So we've gone over how it is currently contained. Let's start talking a little bit about ethical considerations. The problem with SCP-682 is that it wants to destroy all life so the scb foundation has decided that it's going to destroy it that's not necessary there's plenty of things that want to destroy all life we don't destroy them immediately not to mention the fact that scp-682 shouldn't be that hard to contain and we'll talk about that in a second secondly not giving it any kind of physical or uh verbal interactions with other pe with people is kind of silly uh, again, because he shouldn't be that difficult to contain. SCP-682 is able to draw energy from liquid solutions. It says it very clearly here. There's a set of filtering gills inside its nostrils. <laughs> um, so not putting it in liquid would be a good start. They literally submerge it in liquid. And I know the submerging in liquid is to keep it from regenerating, right? It does regenerate on its own to its full size. But if they give it a liquid, it can get bigger, 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 bigger. This is a problem because it does seem to show some adaptations. And even though I'm saying very clearly here that I'm only going to work with what's in the article... Um, I think 99% of all information surrounding this outside of the article itself indicate a certain level of adaptation that it can uh, achieve. So we will assume that it can adapt to certain types of things. If you burn it, it becomes resistant to fire. If you acid it, it will become resistant to acids. <laughs> so what does that mean in the grand scheme of things? Well, stop trying to kill it. Period. That's the problem. It must be destroyed as soon as possible. I love that the special containment procedures start with that. As if, if we put it in the containment procedures, well, I mean, that's just how it is. There's nothing we can do about it. Stop trying to kill it. If you stop trying to kill it, it will stop adapting to the things you use to kill it with. I'm just saying. And in the original article, adaptation is not even mentioned. Not once. That's something that came in later in future tales. If we're just looking at it from the base perspective, there's no need for the acid at all. It's so silly that you build a thing <laughs> that can draw energy and mass from liquids and then decide to submerge it in liquids. It can't draw energy and mass from the air. It's not capable of doing that. It only can do it from liquids. So your solution is to submerge it in a liquid? And by the way, hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. We've talked about this, and I think I've done the you're wrong about SCP-682 before. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. It's pretty good. But its main thing that it's capable of doing, like that I can think of off the top of my head, is that it's very good against steel, which is the construction... <laughs> material you're using for the 682 containment chamber it's so dumb so let's fix this first of all let's get rid of the acid second of all not steel plates lining its surfaces put it in the gr okay yes if you want to make a steel like block you know however thick you want it to be that's cool but put it in the ground not above ground with walls that can be broken down. Put it in the ground. Okay? Put its chamber deep in the earth so that, the, like, there's no, you know, there's nowhere for it to go, necessarily. And create concentric rings of containment. This is a thing that has been done for literally a millennia or more. Uh, uh, concentric fortifications is a thing that's been around for forever okay just do that but flip it inside out 
<laughs> build your five. It's got to be five meters by five meters by five meters for some reason. Build your five meter cube <laughs> out of steel in the ground. Dig it out. Build it in the ground. Reinforce the walls as best as you can. And then drop it in there. And then at its full strength, it will still not be able to get out. Okay? And you're like, well, I'm going to put a door on it. What if it breaks down the door? Don't put a door on it. Definitely have sensors on the outside to determine whether or not it's banging around in there or if it's finally stopped. But drop it in a hole. That's all you have to do. Put your chamber at the bottom of a deep freaking hole. That's it. Acid. And if you want, and if acid works for temporary, as it's in here, if acid works as a temporary restraint for it, and this is important, have the capacity to deploy it later as necessary. There are very powerful acids and there are very quick acting acids that you can use. Now, last time I talked about this, I talked about one of the stronger acids uh, out there, which I think was hydrofluoric acid. But what I'm not going to get into the various acids that you can use. If acids work, cool. Use acids as a fail-safe, not as the primary means of containment. There's no need to submerge it in a, there's no need to submerge something that draws energy from liquids and submerge it in a liquid. Just, just don't. That's so dumb. Ugh. Sometimes when I read these old SCPs, the Foundation's sheer incompetence just gets to me. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And then hit the subscribe button. And, and uh, the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted and Sinjariki who have both pledged at $100 and Morgan who has pledged at $40. But you know who hasn't pledged yet? Carl. As for the rest of you, thanks for letting me know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Tuesday.